Hi guys, welcome to our course on Autodesk Revit Architecture. I am Paul. I am an architect with 25 years experience in the construction industry and extensive experience using Autodesk Revit Architecture. In this course, I will take you through this amazing software that has changed the industry, allowing in collaboration across construction professionals. This course is aimed at beginners to Revit to enable them become productive members of a design office using BIM, BIM meaning uh, Building Information Modeling and Revit Architecture in a very short time, enabling them to go on to explore the full versatility of this software while working on real life projects. Let us start first of all by looking at some definitions. What is BIM? Building Information Modeling, or BIM, is an approach to the entire building life cycle. The BIM process supports the ability to coordinate, update, and share design data with team members throughout the design, construction, and management phases of a building's life. Revit Architecture is a parametric building modeler and is an important part of the BIM process. Parametric means that you can establish a relationship between two building elements. When one element changes, the other element changes as well. Building signifies that this program is designed for working with buildings as opposed to gears or roads. Modeler signifies how a Revit architecture project is built in a single file around the building model. All views, all plans, elevations, sections, details, schedules, as well as all design sheets printed for construction documents are automatically generated based on the model. Revit Architecture coordinates with two other programs, Revit MEP, Mechanical, Electrical and Plumbing, and Revit Structure. It also en enables you to check for interferences between uh, disciplines. BIM has changed the process of how a building is designed. Revit Architecture is a true BIM product in that it is much more than a drafting program. By creating complete models and associated views of these models, Revit Architecture takes much of the tediousness out of producing a building design. In the traditional design process, plans create the basis of the model from which you can create sections and elevations. In this workflow, changes are made to the plan level and then coordinated with other documents in the set. In BIM, the design process revolves around the model. Changes made to one view automatically updates all views. Even construction documents update automatically with callout tags in sync with the sheet numbers. This is called bidirectional associativity. In the traditional workflow, the most time consuming part of the project is the construction documents. With BIM, the base views of uh, those documents, floor plans, ceiling plans, elevations, sections and schedules are produced automatically and update the model, saving hours and hours of work. I cannot emphasize this more. The views are then placed in sheets to make up the construction uh, document set. We will be developing in the, the following model in the course of our learning in this course. In this course, you will learn to use the user interface create architectural elements, create windows, doors and wall assemblies, add roofs, floors, structure, creating curtain systems, adding stairs, using the view tabs, using annotation, rendering the model, and setting up drawing sheets. In addition, you will learn how to export the images. To do this course, 
it is advisable that you have access to a computer with Autodesk Revit architecture installed so that you can follow the course and practice as you learn. You can also download a 30-day free trial version of the software at Autodesk website. In the website, uh, look for the free trial version. Uh, with all, with uh, you can see that the download free 30-day trial. You can download that version, and once it's installed in your computer, you're then ready to go. The structure of the structure of this course is such that the tutorials are divided into sections. There are quizzes at the end of each section. You're also advised to try the modeling exercises in this course or from your own offices to practice what you have learned. Some students may want to take this course over a short period of time, perhaps in days, or even over a longer period. Uh, this is possible as well. This allows students to develop and learn the concepts at their own pace. Welcome to the course. The course is aimed at enabling you to become productive member of a design office using Beam and Revit architecture in a very short time and enabling you to go on and explore the full versatility of this amazing software while working on real life projects. Download the supplementary material to follow the course. Again, welcome to the course and I look forward to seeing you at the next lecture where we will explore the user interface.